starting from January 1st, 2025, the UK will no longer issue physical biometric residence permits, biometric residence cards and passport endorsement stamps or the Wignet stickers. Instead, everyone granted permission to enter or stay in the UK will receive an e-visa. e-visa is connected to your passport or travel document. This is crucial for hassle-free travel. If you have any more questions about the UK's new digital immigration system, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more updates. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we have some exciting news coming from the UK. The United Kingdom is making a significant shift in its immigration system by going fully digital. So what does this mean for you? Let's break it down. Starting from January 1st, 2025, the UK will no longer issue physical biometric residence permits, biometric residence cards and passport endorsement stamps or the Wignet stickers. Instead, everyone granted permission to enter or stay in the UK will receive an e-visa. This is an online record of your immigration status that you can access through a UK visas and immigrations account. An e-visa will confirm essential details like your permission to stay, any conditions on employment and expiry dates. It's super convenient because you will be able to share your status with employers or landlords using share codes right from a UK UI account. So what should you do if you're currently holding a biometric residence permit or a widget? Don't worry, the process is straightforward. If you haven't been invited to create a UK VI account yet, since August 6, 2024, you can set up one account for yourself on the UK VI website. From January 1st, 2025, make sure your e-visa is connected to your passport or travel document. This is crucial for hassle-free travel. For those with a biometric residence card and status under the EU settlement scheme, you already have an e-visa. No further action is required. But if your card isn't linked to any status, seek legal advice immediately. So what are the benefits of this digital transformation? Firstly, e-visas are incredibly secure. No more worrying about lost, stolen or tampered documents. Plus, you can evidence your new status straight away as soon as the application is approved. Now, concerned about showing your e-visa without internet access? Worry not. Your e-visa will be linked to your passport. UK border force and international carriers will be able to check your status automatically. And remember, always update your UK VI account with any new passports or travel documents to avoid delays. That's all for today. If you have any more questions about the UK's new digital immigration system, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more updates. See you until next time. Thank you for watching today's video.